Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're having a good time with your family and friends. In today's session on Azure, I'm here to talk about role-based access control, also known as RBAC. So as the name suggests, role-based access control is basically how and what kind of permission you want to give people so that they can manage those resources. And it's an important concept when it comes to managing the resources that you're going to deploy within the Azure environment. So this will be a quick video. I want to give you a general overview of what are the options which are available. So let's start. So when we talk about uh, role-based access control, the two things uh, which I think are important are the roles and the scope for that. Now within Azure, there are multiple roles that are there which are already predefined. Or if you want to create your own custom rules, you can create that too. But the top three roles that I'm gonna talk about today is owner, contributor, and reader. If you look them one by one, uh, an owner will have a complete access. So basically, he can do everything uh, within that uh, resource group or wherever that has been applied. Plus, he can also give access to other people. Contributor has all the roles that an owner can do. The only difference is that he cannot give access to other people. So no giving access to other people. And reader, which is the third role in the hierarchy, a reader can only see the resources. So these are three basically the roles which are there uh, within within Azure, but obviously the, there is a big list. If you want to create your own custom role, you can do that too. Now, another thing when you talk about the role basis control is the scope. So basically scope is at what level these permission will apply. Now you can apply scope at the management group level. Which is the top layer. You can also apply at the subscription. You can apply at the resource group level, and you can also apply at the resources which are there within that resource. So that is the scope uh, within the role-based access control or RBAC. So when we talk about the scope, they share a parent-child relationship. So what does that mean is, if I give an owner rule at the management group level, that person, the user or the group within that will have access to the whole subscription resource group as well as the resources within that uh, management group. That's very important to uh, remember. So you want to give only specific uh, scope to the specific people depending upon what they want to do right so that's one example you can give also say for example if you give a reader role at the subscription level then he can see all the resource group and resources within that subscription that person has the visibility and he can see the resources and if you apply say for example the contributor role on the resource group level the person will have uh, all the access as an owner can do. The only difference as I have explained that he cannot give access to other people. So that's very important. So you need to also worry about the roles or what kind of permission. So can they do read? Can they write to it? Can they delete the resources uh, based on what uh, access you have given? And to what scope, whether they can deploy this at the management group level, subscription, resource group and resources level. So this is something to keep in mind 
when you talk about planning the strategy for RBAC and what kind of access you want to give to the people. So this was a quick video on a role-based access control within Azure. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.